Hey guys, welcome back. How are you? I'm popping on a little project lip uh, plumbing gloss really quick. So I was really in a tutorial mood today. Something about fall reminds me of old school YouTube. I realized I hadn't shown you this look that I like to wear when I'm feeling kind of dead like I am today. My dark circles are out. I feel like a Tim Burton character. It's all good because that's all I ever wanted to be anyway. Got new bangs. Kind of feel like Colonel Sanders. I don't know. Actually, I think they're really cute. I just, it's like weird when I don't have like my, anyway. Anyway, let's just get into it. I don't need to explain everything. First thing is to prep the skin really, really well. You guys know this. Use whatever you like. I really love Banish Vitamin C Cream. I already have it on. It's already absorbed and hopefully you can see it gives a really beautiful glow to the skin. The vitamin C helps get rid of dark spots and discoloration, which I have a couple new zits, so always working on that and Banish is a wonderful company to support. They are going to be sponsoring one of my videos every month, which I'm so excited about because I absolutely love their products. We're gonna be talking about their Vitamin C Beauty Elixir today. So this is a great, great uh, prep spray. So let's clip back the bangs. Does anyone, now that I have bangs, I feel like I have the biggest forehead in the world when I put my hair back. Anyway, let's talk about the Banish Vitamin C Beauty Elixir. So this is an amazing, I'm gonna use this as primer today. It's the perfect thing for like natural glowy makeup. You just squirt it on, get some active vitamin C going on your skin, add a glow, and make your foundation go on beautifully. I actually like to keep mine in the fridge usually and use it like when I'm fucking hot. And how cute is this? Like to shop Banish, I have a code with them and I'll leave it below. I also threw on some apostrophe sunscreen. So I'm going in with Airborean CC cream today, or is it their BB cream? It's their BB cream. Um, I like going in with a BB cream or a CC cream on days like this because it's just easy. A lot of times I'll just like slap it on with my fingers. Got our little Halloween mirror going. Um, but it feels really good. Again, it's more of like a skincare type foundation. So it just makes me feel, you know, not so crappy. <laughs> and this also has a really lovely glow to it, but it doesn't just like wipe off your face during the day. So I like to kind of spread it out with my fingers and then go in with a beauty blender. Just tap it in. This beauty blender, by the way, it's from Huda Beauty. I don't know what they call it, but it has like a flat side. I cannot recommend it enough. Very rarely do I ever like a sponge other than a beauty blender. And this works so great. You can flip it over to the flat side and use it to bake or to contour or to use for like a different colored product like blush. I gotta brush the eyebrows up per usual because something about them being down just does not feel right. So I'm gonna do a little color correction. As you can see that BB cream, even though it's just a BB cream, actually had a good amount of coverage, but I still like to just go in with this little Charlotte Tilbury um, fair color corrector. It's really subtle, um, but it makes a big difference, especially if you're feeling shitty. You know when you just want to like feel like you made a difference on your face? Like you just want to be like, I know that I look a little brighter than I did this morning and that makes me feel more awake and good about myself. That is what this color corrector does for me. Okay, we're corrected, we're absolutely glowing, and we are going to go in with a little bit of bronzer. No, I had to do it to them. This is Milk Makeup Bronzer in Baked. Um, this is a very glowy bronzer, and so I like to just use a little bit of it. It's beautiful, it blends beautifully. Like, if you buy this, you're probably gonna be happy with it. Um, just because I'm more oily, I try not to use like excessive amounts. This really just warms up the face and makes you look, you know, a little less like corpse bride. I'm going with a different bronzer in a minute just to set everything and give even some extra glow. We're using some Rare Beauty concealer today. I just like to add some to the center of my face. Not huge amounts or anything. This concealer has a good amount of coverage to make sure I blend it up back into the temples here just to give it a little bit more of illuminated, lifted look. Laura Mercier's Secret Brightening Powder. Um, this is a wonderful little trick if you have very dark under eyes like I get. It really helps to give a little bit of brightness. It's nothing crazy. It's not gonna like change your life, but it's slightly more brightening than regular setting powder. It sounds like my ceiling is caving in. My upstairs neighbors are really loud all day. Anyway, um, let's jump to eyes and brows really quick and then we'll do the rest of the bronzing. So if you guys hear what uh, sounds like people tap dancing, that's my upstairs neighbors. I have a different mic plugged in, so like hopefully we won't hear it, but I'm just putting on a little EM Cosmetics um, 
Brow pencil? Brow pencil, yes. Why can't I think of the word? Normally I would skip this to be honest with this look because usually I'm lazy when I do this look and like just kind of want the comfort of like doing a lot of skincare and skin products. But, and then I'm too lazy to do extra on my brows and whatnot, but I'm in the mood. And then you know what it is, just a little glossy boy brow to set the brows in place wiggle at the base and pull through. I should be really simple or that's the plan. I've been loving lately this Glow Wish blush, or not blush, bronzer from Huda Beauty. It's in the shade medium. Uh, it's glowy and pretty. I absolutely love a brush that is fluffy and a little bit flat, if that makes sense. So it's got kind of both elements. I just rub it in the bronzer and you can just use whatever bronzer uh, you like. And we're just gonna tap that over the lid. You can see how instantly, isn't that so pretty instantly? It makes everybody's eye color stand out. At the very end, I just flick any excess on my brush up a little bit, just subtly, just so there's that like slight lifting, but I am obsessed with this bronzer. I actually wanna add a little bit to my lower lash line. I don't usually do this, but let's say if I have a little extra time, I might just Put a little bit there so we get our Tim Burton back, but like maybe a little more Helena Bonham Carter in Sweeney Todd instead of Corpse Bride, you know what I mean? And then normally I would just stop here because usually I'm lazy on days when I do this, but if you want to just add another couple really easy touches, there's this Laura Mercier Copper Caviar Eye Stick, and it's just a little cream stick, and I put a little bit on my finger. And um, you can just like pat a little on the center if you want. And then last little touch, um, this is the Fractal Eye Paint from About Face Beauty. This is a new product from them. It's absolutely fucking beautiful. And if I have a little time, I like to do a little inner corner highlight. And um, this is like a gorgeous kind of champagne. Let me wipe off the excess. So I just kind of like touch it to the inner corner and pull it under the eye just a little bit. Really easy to do. Again, it's not like this takes long or is like intense. Today I'm testing a new mascara, cause why not? It's by ColourPop. It's called their Level Up Mascara. I'll be right back. I like to do my mascara off camera cause it's, I gotta focus, you know? Okay, so I took my time. I'm really liking the ColourPop mascara. It's very layerable and the texture is sort of like after you've had a mascara for a month and it starts to get a little drier and more tacky. If you like doing multiple coats, um, I think you'll like it because you can really build it up. I'm adding some more glow with this bronzer. Mixing Healthy Peach and Caring Coral from the Glowish collection from Huda Beauty. So a little bit more of a peachy shade, a little bit more of a pink shade, and they both have some glow to them. And then I've been loving this little Real Techniques brush. I wonder, do they still sell this? I bought this a really long time ago um, because I can really like target right where I wanna place my blush. And we're gonna focus the blush today right under the eye and then just a touch over the nose. You know we had to add some freckles to this look. I'm gonna focus them actually up here on the upper temple, Glowgasm Wand by Charlotte Tilbury. I like to just put a little bit on my finger and then spread it out. It's very, very pigmented, so you only need a little bit. And you can take a beauty blender. I saw a girl on TikTok do something really cute. She took her highlight and put it on the sides of her nose like that. I don't really know if this is gonna work for my nose, but... I like a little nose highlight, so I thought that would be cute. And a little bit on the center of the nose. That was too much. It's on my chin too, because I just want to be really glowy today. <laughs> that nose highlight is cute, huh? It's cuter than I thought it would be. And the final touch, a little bit of this lip gloss from Milk Makeup. Just a tiny bit. I'm not a huge lip gloss person, but it has a little bit of color, which I like. By the way, this is the shirt. This is the vibe. Um, this is the vibe. We did it. <laughs> Okay, I changed my camera settings a little bit uh, so we could hopefully see a little bit more of the bronzy vibe because uh, I'm more bronzed in person than it's looking. But I love this little look and I love the additions we made today. I love the little nose highlight from TikTok. I think that's actually super cute. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Feel free to leave your video suggestions below as I am trying to post more and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!